Heads up! <laughs> How? Imagine if you could do that in real life. Well, in the quantum world, turns out you can. By just looking at it. Well, the quantum world exists on a much smaller scale. Down to the stuff that make up atoms. And it's weird. For starters, these subatomic particles can shapeshift. Yeah, you heard me. When you're not around, they go wild and behave like waves. But when you look at one, it switches to the cute, innocent-looking particle state. But they can only exist in one state or the other, but nothing in between. Confused? I got you. Imagine if this light switch was a subatomic particle. You turn me on like a light switch. Either be on or off. Even if I were to push the light to somewhere in between both the ends, the switch would still pick either on or off, not somewhere in between. Now what if you were to repeat this, but I cover the switch? Could you still tell if it's on or off? Well, no, you can't, because you can't see what's behind it. But what if you could? So let's go back to the first case. We know that the ball is either at the start or the end of the path. Since we're not observing it right now, we don't know which state it is in since both states are probable. So we assume it's in both states at once. Now let's observe it. It's forced to pick one state and the wave function would collapse at that. But if we were to continue observing it, it would still be in that same state till we stop, effectively freezing it in midair. This is the quantum Zeno effect. You're like Darth Vader now. You can control quantum stuff through your observation. But unless you're Steven Spielberg filming the next big sci-fi movie, how does it help you? Your proteins! Proteins fold into shapes, but it needs to be in the right shape to carry out a desired function. If scientists can frequently check or monitor the protein state, they can use the quantum Zeno effect to prevent the protein from getting stuck in the wrong shape. So if anyone throws a quantum object at you, don't blink. Manny, I told you not to blink.